guys in capes. Rogues who are sneaky. Thank you for tuning in. I guess to entertain the geeky. That's right. Guys, what's going on? Hey, Christopher. Hey, Roger. Hey, we still have Jorge here. Say hi, Jorge. What's going on? Oh, he's more relaxed now in this episode. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Like, like last episode, he was like, uh, there's like, I'm on the right thingamajigger. You know, George, you, you and I talked about doing a podcast before. We have. And, and, and now you're on one. How do you feel? Feels pretty neat. Does it? Yeah. You know, like, like there's going to be like three people that listen to your voice. I'm going to be famous now. You're going to be so famous. Threes of people. Threes. All right. <clears throat> Do you need to uh, hire a manager to handle my publicity now? You, you probably should. You it's need the... a bodyguard for sure. Yeah. Right. Like, like, like get like those little bodyguards that Jason Momoa has. Yeah. Get those little ones. Like, that's what you the need. The little ones? <laughs> yeah. Get a miniature one. Get a miniature one. A miniature bodyguard. All right. Here we go. So, I'm dubbing it now. Entertain the Geeky is dubbing 2018 the year of the X-Men. Yeah. Like, definitely, we have we have three films coming next year. New Mutants, Deadpool 2, and X-Men Dark Phoenix. Plus, we have another X-Men TV show coming out. Yep. Um, Fox is not giving these rights back anytime soon. Nope. It, it, sorry, all your fans, all, all that was coming, you're, you're not getting it. But what was the one thing that you said? Hold about? on, we'll get to that. Uh -huh. All right, New Mutants is coming with director Josh Boone, with a cast that includes Macy Williams, the second Game of Thrones star, to, to make the jump to X-Men. Anya Taylor Joy from The Witch as Magic. Oh, I'm sorry. Macy, uh, Macy Williams will play Wolf Spain. Nat Wolf as Cannonball. I don't. Who's Nat Wolf? No idea. Nope. And James McAvoy will play Professor Charles Xavier. Here we go. Deadpool Tool will be directed by John Wick co-director David Leach. We knew that. New cast members: Josh Brolin as Cable. Really good casting decision. Yeah. No Natalie Portman. No Jazzy Betts as Domino. <laughs> And X-Men, well, there's not a lot known about X-Men Dark Phoenix. It might up being being written and directed by Simon Kinenberg, who's been involved as a writer-producer on the X-Men franchise from the beginning. The film is also said to be a light reboot of the X-Men film franchise. That's all we know so far. Like Days of Futures Past. That sounds yeah. terrible. Yeah. Um, then the same year, Marvel Studios will release Black Panther, Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp. So it's going to be a big year. It's going to be a big year. But real quickly, did you see that meme that's floating around the internet of X-Men, um, Days of Future Past, Change the Future So Everyone Doesn't Die, to a future where everyone dies and it's Old Man Logan? Yes. Like, that was a cool little meme. It was a funny meme. Let's break this down, though. New Mutants. Excited? No. No. Why? It's the <clears throat> mutants that I don't necessarily care about. Okay. That's it? Just that's there? it. It's hardly an X-Men movie. It's not, but it's an X-Men spinoff movie, which leads to... Which, okay, if, if they continue down this route, we could actually see legit X-Men crossover movies, which sounds horrible until you start thinking about like the good events that we could have. Executioner Song. Uh, the Phalanx Saga. Um, all those all those cool shit from the 90s. Or they, could, or so. they could just focus on doing a good X-Men movie. Well, well, fuck that. They're not doing a good X-Men movie, okay? They, they've already shot themselves in the fucking foot by saying they're doing the dark fucking Phoenix, and I'm fucking pissed off about it. The oh yeah, we curse on this I episode. I don't want to see right. them do. The one thing. Dark Phoenix. The one thing. <laughs> and then they're like, "God damn you, Fox!" They're like, "Guess what, Roger? Dark Phoenix! We're so <laughs> excited! No, no. Okay, first off, first off, here's my biggest complaint right now. I don't care about Jean Grey. I don't. I like you do not give me enough in X Men Apocalypse to fucking care about this character. She was a whiny little bitch in that movie. Who was all like, "I'm a psychic, but I don't know what I'm doing." You didn't give me enough to care about, and now you're going to kill her? Give me a movie to, to fucking care. They could have done Phoenix Force. They could have done Phoenix Force. They could have done the regular fucking Phoenix saga. You know, there's... They already did hey, that, though, and no, it sucked. No, they did. They, they, uh, there was always the Dark Phoenix. They have never done a true Phoenix saga movie where Jean Grey is the Phoenix as a good guy. No, they've not done that. So, hey, nerds out there, there's a story before the Dark Phoenix saga that's just as good... Where Jean Grey becomes the fucking phoenix. Just want to point that out there. God damn it. Ah, well, Alright. You're the fucking X-Men. I'm pissed off now. No, it's no, no, no. You know what good news is though? Deadpool 2 is going to be awesome. Yeah, I want to see how they do this shared universe with Deadpool. 
Because mm-hmm. obviously we're getting X Men. Yeah, and the Deadpool movie, and we're gonna get X Force. Like, like we're gonna get an X Force movie, and Deadpool's part of X Force. So who's gonna be playing Logan in X Force? Nobody. Is he even gonna be in it? We don't know. We TVA. don't. We yeah. It'll probably you know it'll probably just be X twenty three. Which I'm okay with that. I'm okay if they leave Wolverine out of these movies for a little bit, and like have X twenty three pop up in the newer stuff until they recast Wolverine. I'm they get, okay. They with should that. wait two years. Yeah, wait two years. Yeah, just wait. Wait a couple years. Let's see what happens. Don't do a Sony and have Spider Man, and then a, a week later be like, "Hey, now Tom Holland Spider Man. Hey, now Andrew Garfield Spider Man. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Sony. Not giving Spider Man back to Marvel. What's this a third Spider Man iteration now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this one seems pretty good so far, and they've <laughs> confirmed him for Avengers Four. Have they? Yeah. When that come out? This week. We actually should have announced that in nerd news. I didn't hear that. Yeah, so he's he, he goes past. How much money Spider-Man did Marvel give them? Like, how much money did Disney go off and say? Well, no. Here's the thing. They're like, "Hey, you'll have a good story, so more people are going to want to see your movies now." <laughs> Maybe, but except except Sony's going on this whole Spider Verse thing. Yeah. So so Sony is now doing a like now instead of having a fucking Marvel Cinematic Universe, which let's be honest, let's f- fucking call. A, it what it is. You have an Avengers cinematic universe. Yeah. You have a Spider Man cinematic universe and you'll have an X Men cinematic universe. Yep. You can no you will no longer be able to call what Marvel does with their movies the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You just can't do that anymore. Sure, they have Guardians of the Galaxy, but they Guardians of the Galaxy have always been part of the Avengers. Like they show up, they're like, We're the Avengers of Space, fuck you, we're better. Still have Spider Man in it though, so that's MCU. Not for long. I mean, he's in it for a good while here. Three movies? So what? I'll take him. You'll take him? I'll take him. I mean, to be honest with you, we... Yeah. Do you think Do you think if these movies are, are successful, they're not going to negotiate out more? It would be foolish not to. I don't think Sony cares. I think Sony will look at... Here's the problem with Sony. They're going to look at the money that these fucking movies bring in and go, yeah, we're cutting that shit with Disney. Guess what? We can go back and do this on our own. And then they and, and just make a shit ton turn of out another Amazing Spider-Man? That's bad? Yeah. My hands I, are up. You know how Sony is. I don't. I don't think that's what they're gonna do. George, what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna turn to shit. <laughs> George is on my side here. Once the Venom movie comes out, because that's gonna make a shit ton of money. If it's good. No, no, no. time out. These movies don't have to be fucking good. They do. No, they Amazing don't. Spider-Man Two bombed. It still made a shit ton of money. Not what they needed. Not what they needed, but it still made a shit ton of money. And, and these the, movies ended the franchise. These these movies don't have to be good to 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 make money. Star Trek. They don't want. To, they don't want to end the franchise though. And here's the thing: Star Trek Beyond. They they they've already ended the franchise twice now. Star Trek Beyond appeals to a different group of people than yourself. I will flip this goddamn table right now. You don't. I mean, you can. It's just one of those things. It, it, like it, it's out, not made to appeal to you. Matthew Broderick's Godzilla made a shit ton of money, and that movie was bad. It was bad. Okay, movies don't have to be good to make a shit ton of money. But no, that was the first Godzilla movie in a long time. No, it wasn't. Over in Japan, they were pumping that shit out left yeah, and right. Yeah, it was in Japan, not in America. Yeah, well, you know what? We were hungry for it here, and they were like, You want Godzilla? Here's a big budget Godzilla. You know what's funny is that that movie I loaned your kid? Yeah. The F- Godzilla Final Wars? There's a scene where the American Godzilla shows up for two seconds. Really? And, God- and Godzilla just beats the fuck out of it and moves on. No joke. Yeah. The storyline between Final Wars is these aliens come to invade Earth. And they pretty much just send every villain Godzilla has ever fought against him. <laughs> and that's... I was like, yeah, I'll give that to your kid to watch. That's the good one. It's campy as fuck. It's good. Like, there's a soccer soccer ball scene. Godzilla plays soccer in it, for crying out loud. That's right. It's a good, it's a good movie. God, I haven't watched Godzilla in a long time. You're, you're gonna watch him. I know. I'm excited. You're gonna watch him. Then I'll hook you up. I got, I got... I have every Godzilla movie from 1984 up. And when Shin Godzilla comes out... Oh, you don't have all the 60s stuff? No, I don't have the 60s stuff. I was not a big fan of the show era. Uh, I was more of a Hinsai Godzilla fan. Okay. Um, and and for you un, uneducated nerds out there, the every reboot Godzilla has starts with Godzilla destroying Tokyo. So Shin, Shin, what a, Shawa Godzilla was the first, 1950s up to 1984. Then that's when the Hinsai era started. And that went up until Shin Godzilla. I love it. I just love Godzilla. Godzilla's good shit. Any of it. I'm like, I'll watch it. I was telling Tara, so uh, right up the street from 
where I live is where my uh, grandma lived when I was growing up. And my uncles weren't that much older than me. So we would watch Godzilla movies late at night when they would come on TV. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And you'd, you'd stay up super late. By super late, probably 11 or 12 o'clock. Yeah, watching Godzilla movies. And yeah, all of a sudden Godzilla came on. Have you like, checked oh. out the L-Ray Network yet? No. George, have you checked out the L-Ray Network? No. You guys need to fucking check out this network. Thursday night, Kung Fu Movie Night. Right up your fucking alley. Yeah, I already love it. Thursday nights, it's like, here's five different Kung Fu movies. And after 10 o'clock, they show them unedited. Um, oh. Friday night is Creature Feature, where they just show different like 80s horror movies. Saturday night's big action where they show like 80s action movies. Yeah. And then like throughout the day throughout the day they, they just pick a TV show and they just show blocks of that. Like Monday, Miami Vice. Tuesday, Airwolf. Wednesday, Alienation. And they just do that. Like they just show nothing but old TV shows from the 80s and 90s. It's done by Robert Rodriguez. I had to go to that voice. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. You didn't really have to announce it. I just continued the conversation without you. That's fine. Um, It's done by Robert Rodriguez. And uh, he actually, from Dust Till Dawn's on it. Yeah. The TV show. And uh, Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. Yeah. They have Lucha wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a soap opera. And then they wrestle. <laughs> it's like the greatest thing in the world. If you haven't seen it, you need to. Is it super cheesy? It is so cheesy. <laughs> like, 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 it is the cheesiest cheese that you can think of. But it fits on this fucking network. And then, like, they bust out. Well, I was, like, Godzilla was on, um... Valentine's Day, Day, they did a Kaiju Love Marathon. Yeah. Where they just showed a shit ton of Godzilla movies. Um, like, like this network reminds me of what the Sci-Fi Channel used to be. Right. And I hope I hope it keeps growing. Because it's a damn good network. Check your local listings. Make sure you have it. Check you your are. local listings for yeah, details. You, need, you fucking need to get on this, Chris. Like, Thursday... Five Finger Death Punch Thursdays, man. Come on. No, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with all of that. Like, the, fir- the first night, they just showed the Flying Guillotine Hat Trilogy. That's hilarious. They're like, yeah, we're going to show the Flying Guillotine hat one, two, and three for six hours straight. Here you go. And after 11 o'clock, you get the r rated. That's right. <laughs> That's, like, they've shown, they showed Zombie, Chud, uh, and the, now they're breaking into, like, actually showing, like, The Thing and The Blob and Amityville, like, like good movies that are culturally important to us nerds. I'm about that. That sounds fun, yeah. actually. Like, in my mind, here, here you go. All right. We're, we're, we're TV execs here. Yep. So we're, we each have programming. We'll let Chris go first. Chris, like you have a day to fill. Like, like what is your favorite? What what would you put on your TV station? With a day to fill? You have a day. Like you get one day. It's Chris's fucking day on Entertain the Geeky TV. I would do a bunch of old cartoons. Such as? I would do Transformers Gen 1, Voltron, and then I would do Transformers Prime after that because that was actually a really good series. I would try to do, uh, there was a show briefly called uh, Voltron Force. Yeah. And it was actually, it was a Nickelodeon show. It was really good. I put Voltron Force on there. And I would do just a bunch of old, like, He-Man, old cartoons like that. Okay, so is that, like, you're just going to run that for the full day? Full day. I mean, I could throw a couple Power Rangers episodes in there. Because... What about Beast Wars? Beast Ooh. Wars is a really good, <laughs> no, that's a really good Transformers series. Beast so I'd be Wars. about putting that in there. All right, it's, it's one of those things that would have to get there. You so, know so, I mean? so yours is like you. I would do cartoons. You're stuff. reliving your '80s, '90s cartoon love. Yeah. All right, George, you have a day. It's George's Entertain the Geeky Day on Entertain the Geeky TV. Shit. EGTV. Yeah, oh my God! If we could only dream that big. Oh, I would do old tech TV re- reruns with like uh, X Play and shit like that. Uh, oh, okay. Attack of the Show. Okay. So your day is just nothing but X, like, like what X X play at its height when our right. our G four TV at its, at its height like, like you got X play Attack of the Show Icons yep God, I miss that show Attack icons. of the Show was fun that was a fun show remember that show Cheaters yep well, not not not, oh, not that ruined that whole no, uh, no, network not not the timeout not the real not the real time on catching guys cheating or catching girls cheating on your boyfriends yeah. the other show Cheaters where it was we're gonna give you cheat codes and show you cheat ways to beat video games oh yeah. Our arena, arena like the original ML Major League <laughs> Gaming, where it was like, here's fucking Cody Otoyo from Japan playing against Ben from Philadelphia. They're going to play Street Fighter. And that like that was the show. That, God, I miss G4. Yeah. G4 was, was good. I miss Good G4. days. Oh, yeah. What a time to be alive. Yeah, what a time. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't, but man, G4... G4 Rose. It was originally Tech TV. Yeah. And then it turned to G4 TV. Well, yeah, because like Tech, like, like 
Tech, G4 Tech TV. bought Tech TV just for X Play. Right. And, and originally, and, Tech TV was more like centered around like real like tech stuff not like really yes. gaming and stuff like that yeah and g4 was like this network that you couldn't really get right but it was growing really fast and they were like hey that morgan webb's kind of hot we want her on our olivia network Munn was olivia. On it. olivia it was before olivia munn g- olivia munn came on after morgan webb started getting older okay fair enough uh, because Attack of the Show, that's where Olivia Munn started. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like Tech Team, like G Four was the original girl on uh, X Play. Uh, Morgan Webb and that blonde. No, there was a girl before Morgan Webb. I don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Was she cute? No, not really. No, because Morgan Webb was cute. Morgan was pretty hot. Morgan Webb was cute. Yeah. Everybody's cute when you don't live with them. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're having issues, I'm not having any issues. I just. State and facts. State and facts? That's not true. Wake up next to somebody and have them fart in your face. They get way less attractive, unless you're into that. <laughs> then, you know, you've got a raging erection. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking up X Play before Morgan. You keep talking. Okay, so before Morgan was on X Play. Lauren Fiddler? I mean, yeah, is there a picture? I don't know yet. Hold on. It was on, original network. It was on ZDTV from 1998 to 2001. Check this fucking run out. It was on Tech TV from 2001 to 04. G4 Tech TV from 04 to 05. Then G4 from 05 to 013. Jesus. 013? Yeah. 013. 013, yeah. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> to 013. Now, I don't know if you know this, but we skipped ahead 1,000 years. <laughs> uh, here we go. Sessler... Adam Sessler, I think, has been on. Yeah, he was on for the... Adam Sessler with co-host Filder. Yeah, so it's this chick Filder for the show. Lauren Filder. Page has not been created. Thank you. You just had me thinking about, like... Okay, so, a random thought here. Could you imagine when they went from, like, 900 AD to 1000? Like, adding that extra number in the date? Do you think that, like, really pissed them off? Or from, like, 10 to 100, you know, when they were like, it's year 99... Fuck. Wow. Next year is 100. All of our computers are going to crash. What? Are we, it's not going to be called Y2K. What are we going to call it? There were no computers. But they Y.1. Like, yeah. Y. Well, she's okay. Let me see. I haven't seen her in a long time. Like she's okay for, you know, what she was. Oh, uh, that's not her. That's not her? No. All right, then I'll have to keep looking. But I think she was on before I even started. Okay. When did looking. you start? Like 2004, 2003? Okay. No. no? On G4, they actually used to do some uh, parkour competitions that I like to watch. You mean American Ninja Warrior? No. No. That shit's garbage. It was parkour. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour? No, I, I don't I don't even remember what it was called, but it was, they had, like, it, it was pretty insane. American Ninja Warrior's obstacle course. So it's, it's a little different. I liked American Ninja Warrior. I mean, it's still a thing. Yeah, but it's kind of overplayed now. Pretty successful, too. I bring back Alien Nation. Alien Nation. I'm, I'm just sorry. I, like, so on Elra, they, they, I, I recorded like 10 episodes because that was one of their days with like Alien Nation Day, and I, I started watching it last night. That show was so good. Yeah? Stupid Fox and their stupid canceling shows because they didn't have any money at the time. Like it, it lasted from eighty nine to ninety, and they canceled the show. Not this is the this is the only show. I'm using quotation marks. The only show Fox has ever canceled because not because that of lower great. ships. Oh, she's not very cute. No, she's that... not very cute at all. Show Chris. Excuse me. She's um, a lady. Like like yeah, it actually had really good viewers and everything else, but Fox did not make the money that they were going to make. I mean, she looks like she has a great personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean she's she's got that face for radio like we all have in this room here. Yeah, you know, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent face for radio, face for radio. Oh shit, is it already twenty minutes in? Yeah, holy fuck, we just hit that point, guys. Hey, hold on, hold on. Beast escape room. That's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. You were gonna say Beast escape yeah, room. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, why don't you guys go out to Beast escape room? George, do you know about Beast escape room? What, another generic escape room? No, another awesome escape room. <laughs> you can go to beastescaperoom.com. Enter the promo code geeky. And you get 20% off your next escape room experience. And while you're out there, why don't you say hi to... Ronnie Cobb! You know, he's getting married soon. Yes, he is. You know, his last... Like, 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 
When's his last single day? I don't know, but we need to like go out there and party with him. Yeah. We owe him a t-shirt. We owe him a t-shirt. Ronnie Cobb, you're getting your t-shirt. Just hang tight, buddy. T-shirt on the way, bro. For you. Send us your... Like, in all seriousness, Ronnie Cobb, send a, send either me or Chris a Facebook message with your, your shirt size. And uh, mail us a pair of your used underwear. Don't wash them. Yeah. That's that's true. I really don't want them washed. Anyway, guys, go to BeastEscapeRoom.com. Enter that promo code GEEKY. Get you 20% off your Beast Escape Room experience. And then... Go to EntertainTheGeeky.com. Like, comment, subscribe, because all of our social media is on that fucking website. Big shout out to the Asian sensation Andy Yang for getting that done. Um, Coming soon, as soon as we can figure out how to put the eBay store onto the thing, we'll have a, another link that has nothing to sell, but... It'll okay, be there. It'll be there. It will exist. Guys... Stay geeky. Get the fuck out of here.